And you only live once, live life, live life. How can something so wrong feel right? Is that right, yo? It's mine. I decided to do a um, chit chat, get ready with me, just because I don't think I have done this. If I have, um, I don't know. I can't really remember if I have done it. It's probably been over the summertime, and it's not the summer no more. And this is this is who I am. Most I'm doing is going to the doctors. I'm making a pound cake, and I'm definitely gonna film that. I'm gonna vlog that. Um, so I'm trying to like shoot out at least like three videos this week. I know today is Friday, so I want this video to be posted today. Then um, I can do the vlog, post that tomorrowish, maybe, or either post the vlog today and post this. Mm, I don't know. That's a little backwards. But I'm, I'm like trying to like get out my content out for you guys because I, I, um, I've been feeling the spirit lately, like, you know, just posting videos, posting videos. I feel like my grandma has helped me, like, being, she's been my motivation lately to like post videos, 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 videos. And oh my God, I just hate these smarts. Like, oh, they just, oh, they just. Oh, it just won't go away, but I'm giving you guys the real me. Um, I always get it's just it will always be right here, and right here. It just takes so long to go away, and I just oh, it's like why? Like why? And I know a lot of girls. A lot of girls are actually worse than me. So I, I honestly, I don't, I don't complain. Um, and though it's, it's not acne, I'm going to be giving you guys like a lot of topics while I'm doing, like getting ready. Mm, every, you know, well not everyone, but are we, everybody's, everybody will ask, what do you want first? Do you want the good news or do you want the bad news? But I'm going to give you guys, I don't know if this is really the bad news, because I feel like, oh shit. This is not even the top. I feel like everybody goes through this at, in their life. So I know I'm not the only person that goes through this. That's why I'm not, I'm not complaining. But I wish days would be better, if that makes sense. Um, over the summertime, I have had the hardest, hardest, hardest time. <laughs> Mom, my brushes is all... I feel like reaching down. I need like an assistant to pass me my brush. <laughs> I did have my cousin over the summertime. She was just like, pass me this, pass me that. Uh, okay. But over the summertime, um, um, uh, what the crap? <laughs> Uh, over some time I had a job I was working at McDonald's and um I did quit I quit McDonald's but I didn't quit McDonald's because it was like a bad job it wasn't uh, a bad job I think I told y'all that in my other video no like McDonald's was a pretty pretty good job but I quit McDonald's because I wanted to move with my dad but that didn't really happen because my auntie died and then like two weeks later my grandma died and when my grandma died i really became very very depressed and like depression is definitely real it's not something you play with and it's not like oh one day i'm i'm happy you know that type of depression i just got depressed because like my grandma is love you know and I know my grandma was like very old, but I was very depressed upon that situation. So I was like pushing people, I would push people away, but I wouldn't tell them what's going on. I would kind of expect for them to like read my mind. 
and you know that, that's been possible so like if, if you are going through something the best thing to do is to tell someone because nobody can read your mind they might know oh you're not you're not the same but they don't know what you're going through so yeah over the summer i lost my grandma i lost my aunt but my grandma really took me out because that was my grandma like i always would see my grandma um like i'll just always go over her house i'll bring her food you know eat with her or just you know ask her how her day has has been going you know like I'll, I will always do that and that has been came it became like a routine I did it ever since I was able to like drive over there before we used to I used to live right next to it so I just walk over there but I'll drive over there pretty much every other day just to check on her hug her you know just talk with her so those are things that really made me say like wow I'm not gonna be able to oh. I'm not gonna be able to do that no more so I just became very, very depressed upon that and I kind of felt like, I was like, oh, I had no motivation. I mean, I don't know, but when you lose your mom or your grandma, that stuff is real. It's really real. But I don't want to cry because I know she's in a better space. So let me stop crying. Like, my, I, like, I just know she's in a bad place. So I feel like... I don't even know what so I'm sorry guys I am a car baby but I know that I just knew it wasn't the same so I really didn't know if she was really did she really understand that I was graduated because she always kept saying oh you got married and I'm like come on no I, I did not get married I just graduated <laughs> like it was, I was like what why did my grandma keep thinking I got married I just graduated that was it nothing else grandma so yeah <laughs> but yeah um she soon became to be like my motivation like I want to go to the army and when I first took my test, I didn't pass my test, my F5. I did not pass my F5. F5. I knew I wasn't ready. I, I just, that, I just took it just to be taking it because my recruiter was getting on my damn nerves. So I just took it. But um, now that I'm studying, I feel like she's my motivation because I actually have something to study for. I'm not even caring about, oh yeah, I, I got to do this because the time is my college. You know, we all need motivation. And I feel like she's the motivation. I need it. Like, everything I do is really, like, dedicated to her. Even with this YouTube, like, I feel inspired. I just had to, like, get it out of me, you know? And, um, yeah, cherish your moments with your loved ones and... And one thing I hate is when people, this is more so on the younger generation than um, anybody else, but younger generation, they're not understandable. And for instance, teachers, you don't really know what teachers are going through and yet you give them a hard time. Why? Like you would not give your mom a hard time, so why are you giving them a hard time? I just don't understand that, you know? So it's like, um, trying to be more understanding and humble. You know, it takes a lot. Well, actually, it doesn't take a lot. It doesn't take a lot to be understanding, you know. It doesn't take a lot to be humbled. That's one thing my grandma taught me was to, like, um, just learn new things, honestly. Um, if you want something, you're going to have to work for it. Nothing is handed to you. Um, if you want it, go get it, you know? Like, nothing in this world is going to be handed to you. And that is a proven fact. A proven fact. There's nothing. So that's one thing she did about me. Like, I would, even if I wanted $10, I would just go 
clean up her room because I know I want to know. And that's how that was. Yep. So she taught me a lot. She taught me how to cook or not. Well, not cook, but bake more so. She she would truly, 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 truly be missed. Like that's my superwoman. I really didn't know what type of look I was going for. I actually did something though. But yeah, like with the ass fab, I lost a lot of motivation. Just simply because of like, why did I waste my time even doing this? But. I feel like at the time I didn't want it, but now that I, I actually want it, I feel like it. It all works out now because I actually want it. Back then, I didn't want it, but now I want it. Like, when you want it, you gotta go get it. So, that's how that worked out. Um, I am getting tutored. I am I'm currently paying for Fernando. Um, so far, I like it. I've been doing a lot of words lately, and I'm just now getting into the mouth. Because he has all these videos on the map. So, you know, you can always, like, ask him, hey, how did you do this? I really don't understand that. And that's exactly what I have to do today because um, there's a lot of stuff I just don't understand. Math has never been my greatest subject. I've always been good with words. But since the ad fab, um, if you're good with your words, then you'll guarantee get a good score. So, as long as you know all your words, that's really good matters the most your words your words um i think his class is like 225 but you you can pay all or you can pay half and then you know pay the rest so like yeah he does live sessions and that's like every single day and let's say if you work he will work with you you know like, that's the thing. He always does live sessions. And you know you're not going to be able to make all of them. So, look, I have a gut feeling that I will definitely pass this time because I'm actually putting the effort. Even last time when I took my S5, I didn't put any effort in it because I didn't want it. I didn't want it. I didn't want it right then. I was just trying to please my recruiter and that's another problem i have i i am a people pleaser i have kind of stopped that though because pleasing people really don't get you anywhere you're still not happy like you're just still not happy so i don't really please people like that no more i don't know if i want to do like a i don't know if i want to do a gold eye I don't, I don't really know. Gosh. Hmm. Because my outfit is like this. I really wish someone could tell me. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know what, I don't know. White eye. Gold eye. White eye. Hmm. I guess I'll do gold. I used to always do gold. And my lips are so dry. I'm going to put some lip gloss on. I know I'm like all over the place, but over the summertime, I kind of found myself more due to the fact that I did lose my grandma. Um, I was so depressed, but I I still tried to do my journaling, my praying and stuff so I can just be more open and to actually realize that my grandma has passed over 
and everything is gonna be all right because sometimes that it does take time to kind of digest i'm not on the road but yeah it kind of takes time to digest that your loved one has passed over so you have to understand that everything is gonna be all right Like some days I'll still think about her and um talk to her, you know. Like this year has I <laughs> this year has been like a freaking roller coaster. I want to write a book on it. I write to you guys, if you didn't know. Um, but I really would, really, really would like to write a book on my, like, life this year because it's been a roller coaster. I feel like being a teenager actually sucks. I've been wanting to be a teenager for so long, well, a young adult for so long, and it's like finally kicking me in my booty. And that stuff is real out here. Like mental health, like all that is so real. It's like so real. This is a simple ass look. I ain't going for nothing new. Ta da! Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna do eyeliner, no eyeliner. Some days I just really don't be feeling eyeliner. I'm not even gonna lie. I just do my eyelashes and really just call it a day. Am I gonna do like a smoky eye with this? Probably not, because last time I did smoky eye, I wasn't really feeling that. I would kind of stop with the smoky eyes. See, I feel like I have, I'm growing. Just grow so much. You grow so much over here. You can't go wrong with gold, baby. You can't go wrong with gold, baby. <laughs> okay guys um i know i said this was a chit chat whatever get ready with me but i'm actually gonna do my eyelashes off camera and i'm probably gonna do my foundation off camera just to like kind of speed this up a little bit because you guys already know how i put on my foundation and whatnot so i'm just gonna do that off camera and i'll be back to do the highlight and all the other stuff you guys are gonna be so mad at me but i like I finished my makeup already. I hang out on the phone with one of my um friends. We are we met from like the army group. Cause you know if you're if you're joining the army, you want to just make friends. Cause you guys are both going through the same process, and you know so you just want to connect. But um, but yeah, I'm almost done with my makeup. Pretty much done. All I gotta do is spritz my face, do some blush, do the eyeliner, and um yeah. But um. So I know that I was, like I said, I was, I kind of found my happy place. Now I'm like, not so, not so stressed, honestly, you guys. Um, I pray like pretty much every single day. I don't go to church every Sunday, but I do pray. I just want to get a great, great bond with the Lord. Um, I do journal. Journaling keeps me so calm and happy. You know, honestly, it's really not, it's really not bad to just keep yourself company. You have to love yourself first. That's the only way you're going to be, like, happy. You got to know what you like, what you don't like. You got to, you got to just figure out who you are. And sometimes, like I said, you sometimes you really do got to be by yourself to kind of understand this is, this is who I am. This is what I don't like. 
just to figure out who you are sometimes people are just so overwhelmed with other people or you know their problems that are trying to help them out or trying to please them and you kind of like lose yourself in that sauce and you just can't do that you just cannot do that um i i feel like i have another problem i feel like i'm always lonely i feel like i don't never have friends um i have always felt that way i've been feeling that way for a very very long time even i got my mom she would be my best friend I, I talk to her more than anybody um so i always felt like i don't have no one to talk to and sometimes you just be like i don't want to talk to the same person over and over again i don't want to tell my mom the same thing and it's something you i don't want to tell my mom although i do tell her pretty much every single thing sometimes you want to hear it from a different person though you know you want someone to help you someone else to help you versus that person that just always 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 been helping you um I do. I love my mom to death, but I don't want to tell her all my problems. I did tell her I was depressed though, and that I really wanted to see a counselor. Um, but that thought kind of went away after I just started praying, and um, God has actually been rewarding me. You know, I got a car over the summertime, so it's like I've been. It's not even well. When I mean rewarding, I'm not even trying to say with material things. He's been rewarding me just by opening me, opening me up, you know. That's what I meant by rewarding. I was not trying to say the car part, but that's one blessing he did give me, you know. Um, I'm not trying to brag. I'm not. <laughs> um, like I said, I've, I've definitely been finding myself, definitely been finding what I like and don't like. And what I'm going to accept and tolerate. Another thing, um, sometimes it, it is better to have really no friends. At least one or two. And I'm still young, so I feel like I will kind of meet someone maybe when I go to the army or even in college. Right now, I'm really not stressing it because friends come with a lot of drama. Um, and it's just like a lot of baggage. I do... I'm not going to say that I don't have people in my corner, but I don't know. It's, it's just be a lot. Um, and another thing, um, like I stopped doing, one of the reasons why I kind of stopped doing makeup because everybody wanted their face done for free. Everybody expect me to give to them, but they don't give to me. And I, I couldn't do that. Like, why are you paying other people, but you can't pay me? Like, my makeup cannot be that bad. It's like everybody just kept wanting a handout from me, and I don't I do not do handouts. Cause like I said, if you want something, you don't have to work for it. It's no such thing as a freaking handout. Um, But there's no such thing as a handout. Even if people, they, they call you your friends, be wanting things for free all the time because they call you your friend, but they're not your friend. You don't help me out. So that person is not benefiting you. Why are you trying to benefit them? You know, I just stopped doing that. Because if that was your friend, your friend will understand your hustle. Your, your friend will understand, whoa, this is really what you like. I'm going to pay you for this, you know. Stop doing everything for free because your friend knows how to do hair. Your friend knows how to do makeup. Stop giving them stuff for free. Like, you see their hustle? Respect that, you know. I don't, I just really don't like it. People just be using you, you know. Like, that's, that's just been my main problem. These people just always using me. That's why I'm like just so to myself. I just like, these people are just users. This is my elf spray. It probably got me some guys. <laughs> but yeah, um, so that's like one of my hardest problems. Like, I'm just 
I'm always getting used, 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 and I hate it. It's like no matter what, no matter what you do, they always want to just use you, use you, use you. So I just been doing, I just been doing me really, you guys. I just really been doing me. As y'all can see, I've been doing more makeup videos because this, I do like doing makeup. I don't like doing it for free. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, thank you. No, mm, no. <laughs> That's like you working, but they not paying you. I mean, I said working. I didn't say volunteering. I said working. Keyword working. And they not paying you. Are you going to be mad or what? That's another thing. People don't understand it until it's them. Mm -hmm. People don't understand it until it's them. I have always had that problem. I have always had that problem with friends. It's like, why am I attracting these people into my life? It has to be something wrong with me, you know? Because like, why am I attracting these people in my life? Because I don't, I, don't, I don't do that, though. Like, I know that people... They work hard. So it's like, why do I attract these type of people in my life, though? I already know. So that part, I just really don't know. I want to do baby hairs. I don't know. If I want to do baby hairs or not. This is a lot of hair, you guys. This is a lot of hair. I'm just gonna wet it. Cause this is a lot. Like this is a lot. Um. <laughs> and a lot of people do see my potential. I guess I'm just kind of like hanging around with small-minded people. So that could be another reason. And sometimes it really doesn't have anything to do with you. It's just sometimes people aren't on your same level. But you don't want to, like, tell them, oh, you're not even on my level. You know, you don't want to sound like you're better than everybody, you know. A lot of times, you can just be hanging with people that's not on your level. Everyone's not really meant to be in your life. Everyone's not really meant to be your friend. So, like, that's okay. You guys, I don't know. I don't know what I can do to this. I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can, like... I don't know. Kind of, like, figure this out. I don't know what I want. Like, I don't know. I think I do want, like, some. I don't know if I'm gonna do baby hair swoop. I don't know, but we're gonna figure it out. Okay, so I kind of put some baby hairs to it. kind of did something to make it look a little more real and I wanted it to look I just wanted this hair to look real as possible um yeah so uh thank you guys so much for watching my get ready with me and I hope you guys did not tear up with me but if you kind of felt me in a way then that's that's understandable because I am human and I'm not the only one that goes through these things. And if you did like a get ready with me and an update video or whatever, let me know. I can do more of those or, you know, every once in a while at once in a blue moon. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching it. Please give me a like and a thumbs up. Oh, well, likes and thumbs up, same thing. Please give me a like and uh, subscribe and I'll catch y'all in my next video.